So in this problem, we're told a 64 centimeter diameter wheel accelerates uniformly about its center from 130 RPM to 280 RPM in four seconds. Determine A, its angular acceleration, and B, the radial and tangential components of the linear acceleration of a point on the edge of the wheel two seconds after it has started accelerating. So basically we're given this wheel and we're given a bunch of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down first. So what are we told? So they tell us it's gonna accelerate from 130 RPM to 280 RPM in four seconds. So the way we're gonna solve this is like kinematics, but basically for something that's rotating. So basically it's all the same, except for you just replace uh, the linear variables with uh, the ones that are rotating. So regular acceleration to angular and so on. So uh, they give us the initial angular velocity, which is 130 RPM, so omega, and then we're also given the final, or what it goes to, which is 280 RPM. And they also give us the time this takes. So T is going to be 4 seconds. And what we're trying to find is the angular acceleration alpha. So I'll just say equals question mark. And so this is basically just like a kinematic problem, except for we're using these ones. So the equation we're going to use is, uh, so you should remember from kinematics, v equals v sub zero plus a times t or the final velocity equals initial plus acceleration times time but in this case we're using um, these variables so omega equals omega zero plus alpha times t so all we're doing is replacing with these and we just have to plug it in to solve so we're going to use uh, this kinematic equation so solving for alpha uh, you would just minus this to the other side so you have omega minus omega zero divided by t so uh, plugging these values, uh, we know that there's another thing you have to keep in mind though too uh, when solving these. So notice that uh, you got to notice the units of these. When we convert or when you solve it like this, your units can't be in RPM. They have to be in radians per second because that's the standard unit uh, when solving these. Because notice this is in seconds and this is in minutes, but we need to make sure it's in uh, radians per second, not revolutions per minute. So we're gonna to have to convert both of these first. 130 revolutions per minute. So the way you would convert it is one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So that's the conversion from revolutions to radians because one whole way is two pi radians. Uh, and then you should know one minute is the same as 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that now. 130 times two times pi. Uh, and then you're dividing by 60. So you'll get that it equals 13.61 radians per second. Now let's go ahead and do the final. So 280 revolutions per minute. We can go through this one quicker because it's basically just the same thing. So is one revolution. And then one minute again is 60 seconds. So these cancel and then these cancel. And you'll find that we just have radians per second now. Plugging it in, 280 times 2 times pi, dividing by 60, you'll get 29.32. Once again, it's in radians per second. And now we have it in the correct units to plug it in. So the final angular velocity is 29.32 minus 13.61. Uh, and then divide by the time. So the time is four seconds. Plugging this in, 29.32 minus 13.61, uh, and then dividing by four, you're gonna get 3.9275, and the units of this are in uh, radians per second squared. Because that's how we measure uh, angular acceleration. So uh, this is your answer to A, uh, you can just round it to 3.9 if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. Uh, but about 3.9 radians per second squared. So uh, that's your answer to A. Now let's focus on B. B is asking us to find the radial and ta uh, tangential uh, components of the linear acceleration uh, two seconds after it has started accelerating. So for this one, uh, what we're going to want to do is uh solve first for the angular 
the angular velocity two seconds after uh, right two seconds after it started rotating so if we look at this because we're trying to find the components of the radial and tangential uh, components we need this angular velocity first so we're gonna do this formula in order to get it after two seconds because that's when they want us to find it so two seconds after it started accelerating so plugging these in uh, the initial is still the same that doesn't change so it's still uh, 13.61 yeah 13.61 plus the angular acceleration we just found so I'm just going to use 3.93 just to be a bit more accurate and then they want it two seconds after so we have to do it at two so 13.61 plus 3.93 multiplying that by two you would get 21 0.47 uh, the units are going to be radians per second because we're dealing with angular velocity and now we have it like that so uh, let's see they yeah so we want to find the radial and tangential components of linear acceleration so we're going to want to solve for a sub r which is going to be uh, right the tan or sorry the radial acceleration a sub r and the formula for that is uh, omega squared multiplied by the radius so all we have to do is plug in the omega at this time 21.47 and then multiply that by the radius which we know the diameter is 64 centimeters so half of that is 32 which would be the radius um, and then we know 32 centimeters is 0.32 meters so plugging this in 21.47 squared times 0.32, uh, you get 147 points, uh, 147 points five zero. And so the units of this are going to be in meters per second squared, since this is radial acceleration. So that's the answer to the first one. So they want the, the radial and then the other one tangential so the this one in order to solve for is use a different formula so a tan is going to be equal to alpha multiplied by the radius so alpha is your angular acceleration uh, plugging that in we know it is uh, 3.93 we'll use so 3.93 and then times the radius again is 0.32 meters so 3.93 multiplying that by 0.32 you're going to get it equals 1.2576 i'm just going to say one point oh, you can run this however you want i'm just going to say 1.3 so 1.3 and then the units of this are once again meters per second squared so the tangential and uh this is your radial so your two types of acceleration are right here so these are your answers to B, I believe. Yeah, so these are your answers to B. And then your answer to A was right here. So all we did was basically kinematics for this one. And then we had to use kinematics again in order to solve for uh, the angular velocity. And then we were able to find the two types of angular, or sorry, the two types of acceleration they wanted us to solve for uh, just by using these formulas. So this is more of just a plug and chug problem. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this video helpful.